let's welcome to the stage Ms. Kimberly Williams. There she is. So about a year ago, I was laying in bed, but I could not fall asleep because um, I was thinking about what had happened earlier that day. You see, I had this crush on this boy from church for a very long time. And we would talk every week after church. And sometimes I would walk away from that and I would think, I think he likes me. And then the very next week we'd talk and I would think, no, he doesn't. Um, and this went on long enough, and I've, I've seen that movie, He's Just Not Into You. So I, I, I knew he wasn't into me. Um, but then we'd have another conversation, and I thought, maybe. <laughs> uh, so it got to the point, my head was sort of getting obsessed, so I decided I needed to do something about this. And so I came up with a foolproof, foolproof plan, and that was that I would ask him out, he would say no, and then I would move on. So I did. I asked him out. Um, then he said yes. And I was very confused, excited, but confused. And we go out on this date, and he is um, very polite and a little bit distant and very awkward. And I'm realizing I am on a pity date. He didn't actually want to go out on a date with me. He just didn't know how to say no. And so I was laying there in bed, and I was thinking, oh, I hate when things don't go according to plan. Um, <laughs> I make a lot of plans in my life, and um, in fact, that very next week, I had a plan that had been brewing for a very long time. Um, I had this plan for a very long time to actually go to trapeze school. It's sort of weird, but I um, have tried motorcycle riding and you know, skydiving and bungee jumping, and it just seemed like a really great idea, and so I had built up a lot of this momentum, and I was going to go to trapeze school with my friend April. So we walk up to this it's actually not even a building, it's a tent. <laughs> we walk up to a tent, and on the outside of the tent it says um, trapeze school, and then right underneath it it says, forget fear, worry about the addiction. <laughs> and I'm giddy. <laughs> and so we walk in, and the instructors wrap us in um, these corset-like harnesses, and there is uh, a small little ladder that goes up to a very small platform. There's two bars suspended from the ceiling and a huge net underneath it. And they explain to us that we're going to do a knee hang, that we're going to climb up this ladder. And they also explain to us that in trapeze school, the word for go is hep. And they say, wait for the hep. And so we're supposed to go up the platform, hold onto the bar, wait for the hep. When they say the hep, you jump off the bar, swing through the air, hook your knees on the bar, <laughs> and then uh, jump into the net. And I had a few other people go in front of me, and so I could tell um, there were some people who did this very easily, and then there was other people who were very <laughs> nervous about this prospect. So they would stand on the platform, they're holding the bar, and they would say, hep! And absolutely nothing would happen. <laughs> and other people, they'd say, hep! And they would do this baby jump. <laughs> But they wouldn't actually go anywhere. In fact, I saw one person who said, it's not working, it's not working, I don't understand. Um, and some people would jump off and they would just like, ah! you know, through the air. So then it's my turn and I climb up the ladder and I'm handed the bar and I stand there and I hear, hep. And I jump through the air and I am flying through the air. When I was a little kid, I had a reoccurring dream that I could fly, and it, this is the closest that I have ever gotten <laughs> to that experience. So here I am, I'm flying through the air. The photographer took a picture of me and I saw it later, and I, that's the smile I wanna have on my wedding day. <laughs> I mean, I was very excited. And so we got to do this over and over again, and what I discovered is that at the end of the class, if you do really well and the timing's right, then you got two chances to get caught. So there I am, I go up to the top of the platform, they say, hep, I jump and I hook my knees on the bar and I come back and I'm going out towards this catcher and he says, hep. And what I also learned is that if uh, the catcher feels very confident about the catch, he'll say, gotcha. So I'm flying through the air and he says, gotcha. And he grabs my arms and I'm looking at him like, this is amazing that this just happened. This is wonderful. And they explained to me that uh, if I buy my second class right then, then I could <laughs> get the third one free. So I signed up for another class and waiting for the next trapeze class felt like a little kid waiting for Christmas. 
literally, the night before, on trapeze eve. <laughs> I was in bed and I was thinking to myself, if you go to sleep now, it will come faster. <laughs> so I wake up the next morning and I am giddy. I literally cannot remember as an adult the last time I felt this excited. I don't, it's trapeze school, I don't know. And so I go back to trapeze school and I'm flying them there and then they explain to me that this time it's not gonna be the knee hang, that's, that's easy stuff. Now we are going to move on to the set hawks off. I have no idea what that means. Um, and even as they explain to me, it <laughs> doesn't click. And so um, the entire class, I discover that I'm actually not the natural born trapeze artist that I thought I was the first week because I cannot figure out exactly where my knees are supposed to go and how I'm supposed to hang upside down and this is very complicated. And on top of that, the note that the instructors kept on giving me was stop anticipating. And they kept on saying, wait for the hep. You're, you're jumping too early, I'm a planner. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm practicing this, practicing this, and it gets to the end of the class, and I have two chances to get caught. And I'm up there on the platform, and I jump off, and immediately it just, it just doesn't feel right. So it didn't surprise me at all when I didn't get caught. But I have another chance. So I get up there, and I'm standing there, and I jump off the platform, and immediately something clicks. And I think to myself, this is what they've been trying to explain to me the whole time. And I go out, and I'm so excited that I jump before he said hep. And so we crash, and I fall into the net, and I'm laying in bed again, and I'm thinking to myself, why, why couldn't I wait for the hep? And then I thought about it, and I realized that the, the week before, when I asked that guy out on a date, I knew he wasn't ready, and I jumped too early. And so right then and there, I decided my New Year's resolution for the next year would be to stop anticipating, wait for the hep, and go back to trapeze school. Mm -hmm.